if I encounter one more I'm trying not to say the word because I don't curse and I understand I got younger viewers but if I encounter one more a-hole driver I'm gonna scream hello happy Friday hope everybody had an awesome Friday today is Christmas Eve Eve December 23rd and I have some errands to go run what else is new it's interesting I'm starting this vlog in the car I didn't even get out of bed until like 11 something. My mom's home, Ethan's home, we're all just home, sitting around. We're not really sitting around, my mom's fixing Christmas dinner. And I was, uh, what was I doing, applying for some jobs. We were doing some stuff, but first things first, I'm about to go to the track, walk around the track, get some exercise done. And then afterwards, I need to go to Wegmans to do my mom's shopping. She wants me to go get some organic popcorn. And then I need some Castile soap. And the reason why I'm getting some Castile soap is because I will be doing my first, uh, I don't really want to say this is my first DIY project, but I'm going to be making body wash. Can y'all believe it? As many times as I've been up to the Dollar Tree to go buy me some body wash, this is the first time I'm saying I'm actually going to be making it myself. And I'm sitting here staring at my phone. Okay, here's Pinterest. So let me show you guys the recipe. I found this on Pinterest, I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but it's like DIY shower and bath, and they give you recipes for deep hair conditioner, which I'm making, of course, because, oh my gosh, Shea Moisture messed up my hair, y'all, jeez, just Shea Moisture is still flicking out of my hair right now, like, for real, that don't work for me, I just gave four containers of Shea Moisture products to my neighbor, because she said it works really good on her hair, so I guess it just depends on your hair type. Uh, but anyways, uh, they have recipes for deep hair conditioner, body wash, which I'll be making today. Because I'm almost out of the body wash that I have. So, I'm about to make some shaving cream for y'all guys or girls with hair. Yeah, shaving cream, you know, for your legs and stuff. Sorry, I, I was thinking of beard. <laughs> uh, bubble bath, salt scrub, sugar scrub, bath bombs, coconut milk shampoo, which I will be making. Herbal shampoo, just all these different recipes. And I'm going to be making body wash today. Really excited, but first things first. Let me get to the track, do some exercise. What is this humorous to me? Y'all see what I'm talking about? Look at that. Look at how those numbers are going crazy. <laughs> and the funny thing is, there's no cars going by. This will always just humor me for real. Like, this, this is funny. So I'm here at the track, and my camera actually has two bars. Because after the last vlog, I didn't even bother to charge it. I, I, just, I just threw it by my bedside. But... Here at the track, and I meant to tell you guys, I might be going to a Christmas party later. I'm still trying to decide if I want to. I RSVP'd, but I might just not show up. It depends. It's at my friend's church, and, you know, there's going to be food and games and prizes, and, like, they're doing, like, some sort of ugly sweater contest, so I think it should be fun. Might be something cool to vlog, but, uh, yeah, don't hold me to that, because I might not go. You never know. I'm, I might just want to stay at home and, you know, read or something. Because I've been trying to read this book since I bought it. Y'all, if y'all have been watching my videos for a, at least a few months now, you'll know that in August, I went to Ohio to visit family. And I went to the Barnes & Noble and I bought some books. I've been trying to read these books since then. <laughs> so I really might just stay in, but it depends on how I'm feeling later. Yeah, so... I walked a mile and a half today. Usually I just walk four times around the track. That's a mile and then that's all I do. But I walked two extra laps. I did a mile and a half. Look at me. Nasty, right? Nasty, nasty, nasty. There was vomit on the track. Somebody threw up. Ew! That's nasty. You barfing on the track. I thought the nastiest thing I've ever seen on the track was that geese poop because we have a bunch of geese that be sitting in the middle of the track i thought that was the nastiest thing i've seen on the track geese poop with a uh, spit in close second but no uh -uh. somebody has to throw up on the track it's nasty nasty if you feel sick don't feel the need to come out and exercise when i was sick i had to take off a week take off a week okay you will be fine but you know what i think it is there's a popeyes container in the middle of the street right by the way, I don't like, y'all need to stop wasting food. But it's a Popeye's container right in the middle of the street. Like a full-on bag with like some leftover chicken in there and, and everything. Somebody ate some Popeye's. Popeye's is nasty. So afterwards, they went to the track and then that's what happened. That's what I think happened. <laughs> Whew, it's nasty, man. But now I'm about to head to the Wegmans to get some popcorn. What I need to make the homemade body soap and then, uh... I don't know. I might get some lunch from Wegmans. I might not. 
I do really love Wegmans mac and cheese and their string bing. Their string bings are really good too. And their uh, salad selections, awesome. So I might do that, I might not. We'll have to see. Okay, so I'm up here at the Wegmans and can I just say that it is entirely too many freaking people up here. Okay, it is so many people up here. I was almost in an accident back there. Like, let me explain what happened. So, it's so many cars. Oh my gosh, so it's like all these cars this way. And this one car right here is trying to, like, come out so they can go over here. So I had stopped for a moment so they could come out. Okay, but they weren't moving. So I just said, okay, I guess I'm going to just keep going. This other car, oh my gosh, was freaking pressed to get around me so as I'm moving they just gonna think that they're gonna just swerve and just going around me and I had moved anyway then they just honking and I'm like if you don't take several seats oh my gosh people better be I'm just really happy that I don't have like intense road rage because for real that was so stupid I need all y'all to just keep your freaking pants on and chill out and be patient okay it is so many people up here Y'all need to stop acting like you're in a big rush to get places. Dang. Acting like you're in a big rush. Like, you need to chill out. Gosh. <sighs> For real. Because that could have been a freaking accident back there because you're trying to rush. Gosh. This is why my parents always tell me, you got to drive for the other person. This is annoying. But you know what? I'm not even going to be pissed off at that anymore. It's cool. I'm going to just... uh. Go in here, get what I need to get. Hopefully, I don't see them in the Wegmans because I'm a. I, I didn't even see who it was. I think it was some uh, some lady, but I don't care. I mean, dang. You're in a big rush to get in the Wegmans for what? I mean, it's not my fault that you starting your Christmas dinner late. <sighs> Man, it's like 400,000 people in here. But I got my lunch, and now I'm just walking around looking for the other stuff. I asked this lady to help me find Castile soap, and not only does she not look up at me when I'm speaking to her, but she points me in this general direction, so now I'm like, I still don't know where it is. The soap, now, organic popcorn is somewhere in this area, and I'm leaning towards getting some candy instead. Okay, so I'm finally out of the Wegmans, thank God. There's too many people in there, and I'm still a little bit heated over what happened earlier, but... I feel a little bit I feel a little bit better because this nice lady said Merry Christmas. They just looked at me and smiled for no reason. So I was like, oh, Merry Christmas. So I feel a little bit better now since those nice ladies spoke to me. But <laughs> let me tell you guys what I got from Wegmans. Um, I went in there for my mom. She wanted me to get some organic popcorn, but they didn't have any. So I skipped over that. But she also wants some pork rinds. Nasty. I, I, I have never liked pork rinds. I think pork rinds are actually pretty disgusting. So I went and got her as many bags of pork rinds from Wegmans as I could for the five bucks she gave me. And I got two bags because I think my chain was like a dollar and two cents. So two bags. My mom just texted me. She said, I forgot to say the plain pork rinds. Let's make sure these are plain. Yeah, they're plain. Okay. I have to make sure because I don't want to run back in there. <laughs> and here's what I went into the Wegmans for. I went in there for this uh, unscented pure Castile soap. I went in there for this because this is like something that you need for the body wash. And this was like $11.99, like 12 bucks for this. So I'm like, oh my goodness. Uh, and they even had like larger ones for like, it was a big bottle of, of like Castile soap for like $30. I was like... Okay, that's a lot, but you know, it's going to be cheaper in the long run because I'm going to be making my own body wash and stuff, so cheaper in the long run if you want to consider it that. I got some lunch. It is a guy standing like right out there. He's taking care of the carts, but like I'm trying to kind of wait for him to go so he doesn't think I'm sitting in here talking to myself. <laughs> but I got some lunch. Mac and cheese and string beans. Delicious, right? I love their seasoned green beans, and I'm like, I'd hope they'd be seasoned. <laughs> And then I got a salad to go with it, because that's just my normal lunch. I always get a salad, mac and cheese, and green beans. It used to just be straight mac and cheese. You see how I'm improving? I'm adding some vegetables to my diet. Would you look at that? <laughs> and they have to weigh it to figure out like, how much the total comes to, so I don't really know how much those two were. But all the items that I got came to like 25 which I said was good, because I kid you not, I got lunch from Mom, Ethan, Dad, and I, and that came to like a lot. For Wegmans lunch, <laughs> so 
you know, it doesn't bother me. But then I also got some candy. And something in here is leaking. Is, is that the soap? That's not the soap. That might be the salad. Something is leaking because it is, everything's kind of wet. But um, I got some candy. I got some Tootsie Rolls. Not the uh, not the chocolate ones. I got the vanilla flavored Tootsie Rolls. And I didn't get any of the fruit ones because I just like the vanilla ones. Those are really good. Strawberry bonbons because Fit Kid wanted that. I got these little caramel creams. Um, and this other weird looking caramel cream. I think it's like a licorice flavor. I said I wanted to try it. I only got one of those. And I got some chocolates. I got the Lindor chocolates, the truffles or whatever. Hazelnut and the white chocolate flavors. Those are my two favorites. And then I snuck in here some peppermints. Peppermint kind of chocolate thing. Because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to like... I wasn't supposed to mix it, but I did that on accident. So I was kind of seeing what he going to notice. So I kind of went to like a young guy. I knew he wasn't really going to care. So <laughs> for the cashier, uh, I got like this little peppermint thing in here. It looks like it could be like a, what do you call those peppermint things? Um, Little peppermints. They're round. <sighs> I'm going to think of it later. But it looks something like that, but it's not that. It's something different. It's just, it's just called a peppermint patty. That might be what it's called, a peppermint patty. I don't know. But I'm not going to eat all this candy today. I just got it to stock up on, you know. Keep it in my drawer for when I really need it. But now I'm about to head home. Thank God I just got to figure out how the heck I'm getting out of this plaza. Because it is way too many people up here. Way too many a-hole drivers. And I don't feel like encountering another one. Because if I encounter another one, I might act like an a-hole right back. So, yeah. Let me figure out how I'm getting home. All these people. Dang, y'all. What? All oh, y'all trying to come to Wiggles? Y'all uh, did your Christmas shopping a little bit too late. Y'all always wait until Christmas Eve Eve. And I'm not even gonna be try. I'm not even gonna try to be nice anymore and let people in. Cause no, it happened last time and somebody was a hole. Dang, y'all. If I encounter one more. I'm trying not to say the word because I don't curse and I understand I got younger viewers. But if I encounter one more a-hole driver, I'm going to scream. This light was clearly turning yellow and I cannot run red lights and get tickets because my parents will kill me. So tell me why I'm coming to a stop in this car. Another car just in a rush to get nowhere. Just going to rush around me and you went through the red light. So I hope you get a ticket. Like, <sighs> I can't do this anymore. I hate driving. It's not even that I hate driving, I just hate, I, I, I hate y'all for real, like, I hate y'all, y'all other drivers, I hate you guys. <sighs> I know somebody's out there like, Alexis, calm down, but y'all understand how frustrating it is, almost getting your car hit like twice in the same day. Like seriously? That's fine, go ahead and burn up your gas, like see, see what I- In the sky? That looks like a rainbow. Is yeah, that just me, I see a rainbow, it's like red and green, like Christmas colors. Is that, is that the sky telling me Merry Christmas or something? I am home and I have the house to myself because dad went out, mom and fit kids just went out. I'm home alone. So this is what I needed for my body wash. I got the Castile soap, I got the glycerin, I got essential oils and carrier oil can basically be anything. So I'm gonna just use, uh, maybe I'll go take one of mom's flexseed oils out of her Christmas present. Did I tell you mom is ruining Christmas? For real, she's just a, mm, I'm going to have to tell you, I need to figure out how I'm doing a Christmas vlog. I got to figure out like how I'm going to set that up. But man, uh, what I'm doing right now is sit around and eat and watch TV. My book fell. This is the book that I'm trying to get started reading. It's called Rocks Fall, Everyone Dies. I can't even tell you what, it, what it's about because I completely forgot. But I'm about to sit around and eat my lunch, watch the Fosters, really enjoy the company of myself right now. And then I'll figure out what I'm doing later. Okay, so I'm about to get started making my body wash. This is like the first DIY sort of homemade project that I've done in a way. So <clears throat> I need one half cup of Castile soap and three tablespoons of, ignore me, four tablespoons of glycerin, three tablespoons of olive oil or carrier oil as they say. Carrier oil is basically... Uh, something that's, because if you put pure essential oil in your skin, it could burn it. So I think the carrier oil just kind of like softens. I don't really know. But just carrier oil can be like olive oil, almond oil, any sort of oil, honestly. And then 8 to 10 drops of essential oil. My mom has a lot of essential oil, so I asked her, could I borrow a few of hers? Well, one of hers. 
I'm gonna pick the scent and yeah, let's get started. did everything that I was supposed to do. I used a half a cup of this, four tablespoons of this, three tablespoons of this, ten uh, drops of tuberose essential oil. This is what I used and uh, this is what it looks like but it's a little bit watery. Like this is what it looks like. Is it supposed to be watery like this? Like usually I'm used to my body wash being thick like every other body wash that I buy out there but I wonder what that thickener is called. Um, can't think of the name, but maybe that's not good to go on your skin because this is pretty watery. I wonder if it's going to suds up. I, mean, I feel like it's sudsing up in there. I don't know. I'll have to see when I use it tonight. But like, I don't know. It's such a little bit amount of body wash. And I still got so much Castile soap. Can't wait to try it. And let me see if I can like smell it. Because I couldn't really smell it. Now I can smell it. It smells pretty good. Yeah, it's not too overbearing, so... Yeah, should be nice. Okay, guys, y'all don't think I'm crazy, but I'm hearing I'm hearing noises coming from this office. My dad's not home. I heard like a boing sound, and then I heard like some sort of magical fairy sound. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but I heard it. My dad got something going on in here. I'm about to. I'm, I need to ask him what that is when he comes home. Whenever he comes home, y'all. So I'm about to make some bubble bath because that's another recipe that they have on Pinterest underneath of that same little article because I have another mason jar look what else I found like I found this up in the cabinets right now I'm just trying to peel off this it's still kind of on my other jar it's still sticky but it'll come off eventually but yeah I'll just do this for the next 30 minutes if this will keep me occupied but y'all want to know something I don't want to tell you guys too much information about where I might be transferring to school just in case I end up changing my mind. Like, because I think if you go back and watch some videos that are old enough, you'll see that for months, literally months, I wanted to go to Maryland so badly. I was like, University of Maryland this, University of Maryland that. Like, I was so pressed. Then, something happened, and I realized Maryland is too close to home. It's literally about 20 minutes up the street. And I want to go away to school. So I started looking further. And there's a school that is really just interesting me. Like, it's still in Maryland, so I'd still be an in-state student. Well, I had to worry about out-of-state tuition. But it's like, oh my gosh. I think I really want to go to this school. And I know I said that about Maryland for months. So I, we'll only know until, like, next year. But, y'all, the academics are good. But you know what's really interesting me about this school? The location is located on like this strip of road, right? And up and down this road, oh my gosh, y'all. There's a Taco Bell, there's a Five Guys, and there's this restaurant called Cookout. Like, oh my gosh, y'all. If there was a cookout up the street from me, you probably wouldn't even see me at Five Guys, bro. Even though I love Five Guys, like Cookout, oh my goodness. Cookout is like cheap. Because when we were coming back from Bethel Campus Fellowship, I remember my friend. His name is Roman. He had... I'm so jumpy. It's because I'm home alone. <laughs> he had a $20 bill. He fed like four of us with that $20 bill. and still had change. I was like, oh my goodness. That's what cookout is kind of known for, like being inexpensive. But there's a cookout up there. I'm like, oh my gosh. And would the school be considered down there? Yeah. There's a cookout down there. It's like, oh my goodness, yes. I can't wait for 2017 because this is one of the things that we're really going to start doing is going on college tours because I got to, you know, make a decision because I'll be graduating soon. But, yes, I'm really interested in this school. It's, like, amazing. And now that my hands are wet, I can't even turn off this camera. <sighs> so it's like we got to just keep chatting for about 30 minutes. This is where I'm at so far. <laughs> So how was y'all to stay today? What did y'all do? Did y'all go out and uh, drive like some a-holes? Like what everybody else was doing today? 
not me. I wasn't driving like, you know, badly. Now that I think about it, maybe I could have waited like in the Wegmans parking lot. That lady was honking and you know, I did say she was kind of in a rush to get somewhere, which don't get me wrong, she was in a rush, but it's like, maybe I, since I did stop, maybe I should have waited to make sure that there wasn't anybody rushing around me before I went. That could have resulted in my protege getting smashed. <sighs> maybe I am partly to blame. We learned about that in Women of Wisdom, like, you know. Sometimes when things go wrong, like we gotta take a step back and figure out how we could have made it better. So maybe I could have waited, made sure I looked for those a-hole drivers. This is where I'm at so far. We're almost done. I don't wanna waste this bad. It's already on like one bar. I wish I had some music. Speaking of music, I bought some headphones, right? Which I really don't like buying stuff like this close to Christmas because I'm afraid that, you know, maybe I'll get that present, but <laughs> nothing wrong with too many pairs of headphones. If y'all know, can you suggest something in the comments about some headphones y'all like? Because I usually don't wear headphones because they mess up my hair, but on those certain days when I'm just kind of lying in my bed, I'm listening to headphones. I do like to listen to headphones, but I got this part off. I get this part off. <laughs> I do like to listen to headphones, so I have a pair of Bluetooth headphones that I got from Wish. They sound okay. I don't really like them that much, but I listen to them like in my bed. And I also have a pair of like Maxwell headphones, which I've always said sounded really good and they were inexpensive, like under $20. But for a pair of headphones that sound, oh, about to run out of battery. For a pair of headphones that sound really good, like, what would y'all suggest? I think I'll pay up to like $100. Up to $100. If we can get them cheaper, that's better. <laughs> but yeah, the pair that I ordered are it's called, um, what is that? JVC something or other. I'll have to show y'all when I get in there. My battery's really about to die. Dang it. I was talking to the camera cuts off. Perfect. Talking to the camera cuts off. <sighs> so what are y'all doing for Christmas? Huh? What y'all doing? But yeah, if you got some headphones to suggest, and just write them down below, because I want to buy like a good pair of headphones, like a good amount of bass, noise isolation, can't hear mom. Like I was listening to the Bluetooth headphones from Wish, and I couldn't even hear my mom when she was knocking on the door. I was like, that's good. Yes. That's where I'm at so far. <laughs> I'm so pressed to get these labels off. Okay, camera. Yeah, I, I can see that you're out of battery. You know, you can cut off anytime soon, so I don't have to wipe my hands and cut the camera off. So you're, you're just gonna tease me and let me know that I'm running out of battery but you're not just gonna cut off? Okay, this is the introvert's nightmare, awkward conversation. All right, look, it's room to shut the blinds and look at this, this is funny, enter. Caution, do not enter. Which one is it? Can I enter or can I enter? That's fine. Those are the Christmas gifts from Fit Kid right down there. I told him why doesn't he put them under the tree. He was like, he didn't want to. I was like, okay, don't put them under the tree. Uh, I should walk around the house and shut all the blinds, but camera needs charging. Hey guys, so it's a few hours later and I am about to not go to bed, but just kind of relax. It's, it's late, so... You know, I am about to wrap this video up, but I want to give you guys a little update on my body wash, my homemade body wash, and my homemade bubble soap. So, the body wash works really well. Like, even though it's really thin, it lathered up well, and it washed off well, and it's it's a legit body wash. So, this is a win. Uh, this is a lose. It, it was no suds, no bubbles or anything. I was like, what in the world? I'm thinking... I'm thinking, because I had to add some water to this, like two tablespoons, so I'm thinking that probably was the cause, but I don't know. So, bubble soap, no. Body wash, yes. <laughs> I can't wait to make some of the other stuff that was on that licorice uh, candy. The candy that I usually like are the caramel creams, and they look just like this, but I saw this black one, so I was like, hmm. Black is beautiful, so let me try this and see if I like it. I'm just going to try this really, really quick. I actually kind of just brushed my teeth, but I completely forgot that I wanted to try this, so, man, it's dark. 
All right. Yeah, it smells like licorice, but what's that candy? It smells like this. Licorice. Mmm. 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 -mm. Tastes like death. I don't like black licorice. Never have. Never will. Ugh. But, let me wrap this video up now. I got some stuff to do tonight. Maybe write a little bit. Watch the Fosters. What else is new? <laughs> Ew. Okay, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thumbs the video up. I'll talk to you guys another day. Bye-bye.